please just help help me. Um, Bill, I'm dying. Please help. And um, then they both went under. Those were the final words of a man who died trying to save his granddaughter after she fell into a frozen pond. His family is calling him a hero, but they're still navigating the tragedy. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. The 10-year-old girl that man was trying to save is clinging to life in the hospital. On Saturday, she fell into a pond at her home near Charleston, near East County Road 620 North. Today, we talked to their family about what happened. WCI3, Sarah Lehman is live in our newsroom. Sarah. What did they tell you? Well, Jennifer, Jessica, they say it was a terrible accident, but they're not surprised Carlos Serafin risked his life to save his granddaughter. Now they're mourning his loss and praying she recovers. It started out like any other day. Malia and her sister Bailey have daily chores, and one of them is they walk um, their six dogs. They have four pit bulls, and then they have two little bitty dogs. Um, it's just part of what they do. They're used to it. They take them out um, several times a day. Amanda Beals is their great aunt. She says on Saturday, the two little dogs ended up running onto the frozen pond. She says Malia followed after them. That's when the ice broke, and she fell in. Carlos being the person that he is, he instantly just slips on his slippers and just starts running out. Beal says her brother, their grandfather, Bill Croy, wasn't far behind. Carlos Serafin, their other grandfather, had already jumped into the water. But before Croy knew it, Serafin and 10-year-old Malia were both under. So when I got there, um, he let me know that they were still he couldn't get to them and he couldn't get to them and I said who are you Malia and I was like where's Carlos and he's like he's in the pond and I said Carlos is in the pond he's like yeah I couldn't get to them the Lincoln fire dive team was able to pull Malia out and get her to a hospital where her heart was restarted Beale says the hospital did everything they could but they couldn't save Seraphin but Carlos definitely um, he died a hero you know that's just who he is. He would do anything for his girls. He would do anything for his dogs. <laughs> um, he would do anything for anybody. Beale says Malia is currently on machines to help her heart beat and her lungs breathe. She says right now they're dealing with her brain swelling and she says they should know more about brain activity later this week. Beals has made a fundraising page to help with funeral and medical expenses and we'll have that for you over on our website WCIA.com. Live in the newsroom, I'm Sarah Lehman, WCI3, your local news leader. Your heart just goes out to that family. All right, Sarah, thank you.